absolutely precious to be able to hold them when they're this small. You know, it's just something about it when you're always like hatching out baby reptiles. Oh my god, dude. Oops. Bro, I just hatched out one of the world's bluest reptiles. Let's check it out. Ooh, to the treasure box. Come here. Ooh, shiny. All right, let's get this sucker open. Oh my God. They are so small, guys. Look how small they are. Okay, let's compare it to my pinky. Like, look at that. They're barely the size of the ants. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I really love how, like, cute and small they are, but, like, when they're, like, this size, it's so stressful. I mean, like, dude, they're not much bigger than an ant. But yeah, just in case you don't know what these guys are called, they're called electric blue day geckos. And like, dude, they're so incredibly beautiful when they're older. Oh my gosh, look at how, look, he's on my arm. I freaking love this. Oh my gosh, dude. You know, it's just something about it. When you're always like hatching out baby reptiles, it's just, it never gets old. It's just something about, life is beautiful. You know, when you just have a new like baby coming into life, it's just something about it. It just absolutely warms my heart. And you know, what also comes with it is, stress because i gotta make a baby cage all right little squirt you gotta get off me first there you go hey, hey, hey. don't you go anywhere i do not want to play cat and mouse with you okay here let's get that on nope nope it's so stressful because i get scared of like crushing them when they're just so small all right over here you go little dude we'll set them there for now Ooh, let's grab these Oops. I really hate putting things together. God, I love that sound. Now to pop out the stop door. All right, now to the garage. So just in case you guys don't know what this is, this is actually just like a plastic shoebox case that I got at like Costco. It's like a four pack for like 30 something dollars, but I figured, hey, why not? This would make like a perfect like little gecko cage. But I'll be honest with you guys, I still got a little bit of modification to go with this. As since I popped out the top door, I actually need to put like aluminum screen over now. So I'll just cut out some screen, hot glue gun it, and bam, we have a cage. locked and loaded all right now i'm finished with it but let's decorate it but first i gotta go to the park to get some branches Ooh, i like this one this one this one and this one oh, let's go. and guys why pay 15 bucks a branch when you can get this stuff from your local park or the woods you know it's all good to use as long as you put it in the oven bake it out like 200 to 300 degrees for like 20 minutes kill off any germs or pests that can infest your cage Okay, now I'm just gonna put some soil in here. I won't be using a drainage layer, you know, I just don't feel like it's necessary. So I'm gonna cut out some weed fabric, place it at the bottom, then I do the scoopity scoop with some soil, and then bam, we add the plants in, add the branches, and we're good to go. Oh, real quick guys, the plant that I'm gonna be using is this little Bella Palm plant, and dude, I just really love using this for like little lizards, like little baby chameleons and geckos. I swear, they absolutely love this plant. They can eat, drink off it, eat off it, and they climb it just like nothing. It's great. And now I'm gonna add the essence of water to it by giving a little bit of squirt, squirt. All right, let's add the babies now, the best part. You ready to become free, little dudes? Two right there. Come on, come on, little guy. See, this is one thing I like about the babies. This is like honestly the easiest time and probably the only real time you're actually gonna be able to hold one of these little day geckos. As they get older, they start getting a lot more skittish. I mean, you can calm them down and stuff, but they don't like to be handled at all. So, so it's always just absolutely precious to be able to hold them when they're this small. All right, in you go, little dude. <laughs> he just doesn't want to go in. Your turn now, little dude. Come here. There you go. And here's your brother. I think we got it this time. Yep, yep. Come on. There, there you go. <sighs> God, they're so precious at this age. Kind of look blue already. 
or let's take a moment to just zen out and enjoy the babies. Let's bring the foul mouth kits upstairs. But yeah, this is looking great right here. These shoebox cases are like perfect for these little geckos. You know, I think I'm gonna start using this for a lot of little baby like lizards and stuff like that. But yeah guys, this is like one of the spare rooms in my house right here. I think this is gonna be like my gecko and like baby lizard room, you know, something like that. I got my iguana in here right now. She's currently hiding from me because I haven't tamed her down yet. I can't wait for the vision for this room to come out someday. You know, this is only gonna be like my fourth reptile room. We are now interrupting this episode for the cute gecko break. Hey, Sakura. Come here, you little monster. Arr, arr. Ugh, come on, don't be like that, girl. Come on, pretty girl. But yeah, this is my lychee gecko. Her name's Sakura. She's about a year old, and her locale is pure Nuana. And you know, I do like this gecko quite a bit, even though I like rarely ever see this gecko because she's always hiding most of the time and she's only awake while I'm sleeping. But you know, I think I'm going to breed them someday. I'm not like too hip on wanting to breed them, but you know, I do like them. They're pretty cool and it's super soft, but it's kind of funny. Like when I'm editing at night, sometimes I'll just hear like, a, and I'm just like, wait, what the heck is that? I'm like, who let the dogs out? And I look over, I'm like, oh, it's just you, Sakura. What the heck's wrong with you? Oh my God. No, don't. Oh, bro. No. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. I am so sick of this. Literally three days in a row, I'm getting pooped on by my reptiles over here. And dude, I gotta say, I lychee gecko poop is the worst. It smells so freaking bad. Dude, you're so freaking gross. I swear, you're gonna start wearing huggies next time I film you. So you're gonna wipe my butt too now? Sicko. Okay guys, it's been about a week now and the babies are doing great. They're eating, they're drinking, they're leaving little poop chicken nuggets for me everywhere. And you know, there's a couple of things I forgot to tell you guys. So first, I realized that with these door handles right here, that there's actually a hole in here that's not covered off and I totally forgot to record that part, but I just covered up with a little bit of tape. And then one morning, I was all looking in here inside the cage and I'm like, huh, you're doing great, you're doing great. Oh wait, where are you? So I started like panicking, freaking out, like, where did he go? And then all of a sudden, I looked up here towards the light and I found one of my babies on there and I'm just like, how'd you get up there? And then I realized that, that in this little door right here, there's actually a small enough space where they can escape through. But everywhere else is perfectly fine because there's little magnets holding it in. But right here, they just got out. So what I had to do was I actually had to put tape all along the door hinge right here, but I reversed it so that the adhesive side was over here and that the babies couldn't actually get stuck to it. But guys, since I'm documenting all my experiences with raising these babies up, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I actually had a couple of failures before and I've made videos about it and you should look for this thumbnail at the end screen. And if you're ever interested in looking to raise these kind of babies, I think you'll find some valuable information in those. All right guys, my name's Ryan and you're watching Mighty Morphing Reptiles. Peace.